A SpaceX cargo ship is due Wednesday at the International Space Station. The launch yesterday marked a comeback for the private space company, which one day soon hopes to fly to Mars. More now from Jim Axelrod. And lift off. The launch of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket had a little something extra for space buffs, blasting off from the historic launch pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. Apollo 11 launched nearly half a century ago, carrying men to the moon. The Eagle has landed. But for space entrepreneur Elon Musk and his company, this launch was all about the future. This was a very big deal for SpaceX. CBS News senior space consultant Bill Harwood says a couple of recent SpaceX launch pad failures Last September and in June of 2015 appear to have had a launch vehicle failure. Raised the stakes. They think they fixed their problem, but they've had two failures in 30 rockets. And uh, to instill confidence in their customer base, they need a string of successes. For the third time, the booster returned to Earth for an upright landing at nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Stage one touchdown confirmed. Musk tweeted joyfully, baby came back, knowing the secret of lower cost space travel lies in reusing rockets. What I really want to try to uh, achieve here is to make Mars seem possible. Musk wants to send an unmanned mission to Mars in 2020. They have to be able to show that the Falcon 9 rocket is a safe and reliable launch vehicle. And with every successful launch, confidence is going to go up that they can, in fact, deliver on these big promises. That cargo ship that's in orbit now, planning to dock with the space station this Wednesday, will deliver 5,500 pounds of supplies and experiments. Anthony? Glad baby came back. Thanks, Jim.